In this world, people never know the half of it refers to history. Have this in your mind. In this work, Voltaire brings revolutionary thinking to the world and we have to understand what type of world this book is written. It's written in the world where people believe in the idea of everything revolves around the human beings. Everything is created for human beings. The human beings are the apex creatures. You know, vastness of the space is just a joke. And there's a god and etc. This is a very different mindset type of society. And here comes Voltaire and brings this um, aliens that live in different planets, different uh, place and comes to this galaxy and visits Saturn, Micromegas, our main character. And size of them, these creatures are enormous. You know, this book pays attention to things such as our anthill, our anthill compared to the Saturn, that's huge compared to our little planet. Citizens of Earth, we are all the citizens of the Earth. You know, this is all, in this book it's strongly critiqued, this nonsense of wars, uh, how stupid it is to fight wars against each other, when there is this vastness of space in front of us. Even today this work is actually uh, has its power, even today. Even today society didn't grasp this thing, how small we are compared to the vastness of the space. You know, Carl, it's not, and especially when this book is written, it's not the world of Carl, where Carl Sagan makes his speech and then Voyager 1 turns around and it's the little dot you see is where we are. It's not that world. But this understanding, it, even today, it's not strongly implemented in human mind. Like it's um, satirically mentioned how we fight each other to death, to like some, some small part. How meaningless it is, how like for what reason wars are started, who started these wars, who truly gained things by that wars. And it's such a deep thinking for Walter, and you cannot help but be surprised. Amazing. A brilliant mind and his way of thinking and his wits. It's just mind blown. And now this is about Micromegas. Uh, he struck up a close friendship with the secretary of the Saturnian Academy, a most intelligent man who had not, it is true, discovered anything of his own, but who could give a very good account of the discoveries of the others and who <laughs> was moderately adept at producing light verse and long <laughs> calculations. <laughs> this is a really funny part, but who could give a very good account of the discoveries of the others. This is the classical wits of the world chair. You cannot help but crack and start laughing and like, <laughs> like he catches such a such a th details in his work, generally in his books, you are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you cannot help but laugh and, and, and learn at the same time that there's powerful lessons in his little, you know, in these little moments you catch while you read Walter's works, you know, yeah, and you, you start to be amazed with his brilliant mind his, and his brilliant way of writing things. Just beautiful mind, amazing mind, Walter, in his works. You know, you, I've never met that man, of course, I can know, neither I can, because he long passed away, but I, you feel like you know the man by knowing his work, what he, his, his thoughts, how, how far 
he surpasses his civilization in thinking. He's correct. Like he, this is the man that like surpasses his time. It's like the, even today the things mentioned in this work and people cannot have not internalized this seventy day. It's just such a huge chunk of thoughts gathered in this seemingly small work, but this seemingly small work is huge with its ideas, ideas that's told within. I have never seen any who did not have more desire than they had real needs and more needs than they had possibilities of satisfaction. Interesting thing to have in your mind. Now, there is an interesting conversation going on about the this and the shortness of life, basically, how life is short. And in your subconscious, like, if you really read there, like, pay attention to it, it's not that life is short. You know, there are creatures that, you know, philosophically live 5,000 years, hundreds of thousands of years, but they still say that their life is just in a drop in the ocean, like very little. Sort of life. Uh, now compared to vastness, compared to vastness, it's really nothing. But if we even live less, and you know, here comes the idea of it's not the time is short, but the fact that we waste our time, and that's why it will be short. It doesn't matter if you were to live thousand of years or hundreds it, the, the fact is that you waste your time and by wasting your time you waste your life and that's why your life your and your time is insufficient and that's why you feel like you you don't have it enough you know just like and, and, and to make a conclusion it's not like the time is short but you waste it and that's why it is short for you you don't use it Constructive. Again, this beautiful, this beautiful wits of Voltaire. You know, they they finish basically the, their discussion, and there is this thing. In the end, having shared with each other a little of what they knew and much of what they didn't. <laughs> you know, like, between conversations, like people make up some facts and things and that's why they he said having shared with each other a little of what they knew and much of what they didn't but they still blurted it out you know it's it's a very specific width of all chair you can catch in this world people never know the half of it you know <laughs> about the history I mean it's 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 a fact that winners write the history so we don't know uh, for various reasons you know maybe it's a reason of they were not uh, advanced tribes you know we have for example Roman history but we don't know the other side <laughs> because they simply don't have enough civilization they could not write anything <laughs> to you know show us their weave also it's, it's the winners decide the, uh, write the history and not the, not the losers It's like asking a dead man to. It's like uh, looking at the like to when go 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 in the room and see a dead man, and the alive one uh, and the one that lives and be like, listen to all the facts and details of the the person that lived, and you survived and be like, mm, yeah, that must that must have been all that happened in the room, but you don't know the the story of the dead one. <laughs> You have one side of the coin, not the other, another, because you cannot simply have it because the other one is dead. Of course, you can do your research and pay attention to things and come up to conclusion by that if you want, and if you have will for it. To speak, one has to think, more or less. Yeah. Now, in the end, you know the conversation, uh, you know, between these celestial beings, you know, and humans start. And the conversation ends by, you know, all the humans blurting out the, the idea of, oh, this is the star, suns, the planet, sky, galaxies, everything is created for, and every being, including you, there is all like these celestial beings that are 
uh, created for human beings and you know this uh, alien start to you know, uh, being a cell cell start to laugh <laughs> like yeah sure and they drop the ship and this is how it ends you know funny story like how arrogant our our human ego is and uh, you know this uh, mocking of the war and how stupid it is you know it's started by old people and young ones died started by ideologies and things you know it's it's very mm, a deep thing and you definitely have to read micromegas it will take you you know less than an hour, hour probably if you make notes just like i do and you will you will learn like it, it's it's small in physical size but the ideas inside are tremendous this is a style of the wall chair now don't forget to, uh, on this seat guys uh, don't forget to um, hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe